and you're now recording live uh velvet vibes podcast your favorite podcast in the motherfucking world getting right on to it because you know zoom give us that 40 minutes of loveliness uh we sitting around here swinging uh chicken bones and just in case the dog get excited uh shout out to from the bottom podcast shout out to all black owned business uh 500 vodka uh jamaica jamaica shout out to us making us nice and spicy song uh, shout out to all the people I will be interviewing. Uh, I think we got Eliza 1K coming up this week and a few other artists. Uh, anybody else need a shout out or do you need to tell them what kind of podcast this is? You know who this is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you ain't say no names. I don't know who's going. <clears throat> you know who tell them what kind of podcast this is? Oh, man, I ain't even in that mood right now. We're gonna go and start this thing rolling. Give a shout out to everybody that's on watching this Zoom podcast. You know, I heard some good feedback on the last Zoom podcast. A lot of fans want to see this again. So I guess this gonna be our new COVID 19, aka <laughs> Rona Zoom podcast thing going on right here. But um, like you said, give a shout out to 500 Vodka, the Valley Cookie Company. You know, all the fans that's listening all the way around the board, thank, we thank y'all, you know, for still sticking with Velvet Vibes Podcast. Amen. And Lenopoly is in the building, so don't y'all be shocked. Uh, talk to them, Lenopoly. Any shout outs, any announcements, anything they need to know? Uh, no shout outs, but I just want to say, you know, rest in peace to Naya Rivera. Like, I loved Glee. Like, that was my show for the longest. Like, before that was Breaking Bad, that was Glee. So, you know, rest in peace, sir. Definitely rest in peace. Uh, we'll go ahead and give her a moment of silence. And we back. On a um, positive note, also a shout out I miss, S.A. Wild Child. Definitely shout out to you, my guy. I know you're probably on the potty or... Probably got a 500 vodka bottle turned upside down. So shout out to you, my guy. Now, getting right on to the bullshit. You know, we don't waste no time. Uh, I've been in some interesting conversations this week. And uh, one of the conversations that I was in, it was regarding uh, if your bae told you that when she dies, do not date anybody else. <laughs> Now, if this actually happened, this is a, a what they call it, an example. A, a, a hypothetical. Hypothetical. We don't want to speak uh, in that ill manner on nobody. But if your bae did tell you this, how would you proceed? We'll start with uh, Lenopoly today. I want to switch <laughs> oh, it up. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it depends on how old I am. Like, you know? So if, if Bay says don't do it and, and you still got some youth in you, you're going to rip your garments off is what you're telling us? I'm going to tell them before, before they pass, like it could be like they're in good health and everything. And if they say that, I'm going to say, I can't do that. Like I'm going to be dating. Like, and I'm going to say for the same thing for you, you should date. Like don't be alone. Be a whole ho out here in these streets. Oh, well, <laughs> nobody said that. That's what S.A. Wildchild would say if he was here. So, Scorp, how, I mean. <laughs> how would you proceed? She, she said never date again, and you're still a young man. Oh, man. Um, this is going to go in one year after the other. I'm going to let it be known. Because, you know, look, you said keep it real. I'm keeping it real. So, um, with that being said is... If I'm like Lenapolis said, I'm still in my youth, of course I'm gonna tell her, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna be out here in this world alone. You know, I'm at least try to find somebody, you know. It, it might be some somebodies. I don't know, it depends on how long it takes for me to find that somebody. Indeed. So uh I think uh maybe this is a not a podcast, it's a whole cast. Because it looks I like think all across the board because my response is the same out now let's be clear i'm not gonna walk out the funeral with my penis out i'm gonna hold myself you know contain myself but once the time come you do have to express yourself at some point in time 
please watch the show The Unicorn and you'll you'll learn something about that. No, I'm just gonna say this. Like it's not to be rude or disrespectful, like or anything, but if the person told me whether when they if they said this when they were healthy or if they said this on, you know, in the hospital and they're about to pass, I would still react the same. Like <laughs> if I was still react the same. And I would I would probably dump them right then and there. You would jump them? Dump them. Oh. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> because it's like, why would you want me to be alone? Like I wouldn't want you to be alone. So why would you want me to be? Well, you got a point there. That's a valid point right there. And I'm there. here on your bedside taking care of you and being here for you and you like don't be with nobody else. Like that's wild. We just thinking about the sex part. Y'all can hold hands and watch TV, but y'all start having oh, sex. My ghost gonna come in the room. Oh, <laughs> and I'm gonna call Whoopi Goldberg so she can come there. Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> oh, from oh. Ghost. <laughs> I don't need her there, please. We don't need her there, regardless. But, <laughs> but I'm gonna call uh, that call me now first. <laughs> oh, who? Uh, Miss Cleo? Or? Yeah, Miss Cleo. There we go. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. This podcast is getting spooky already. Now, <laughs> I I forgot what, what I seen. This might have came from 90 Day Fiance or something of that of that nature. I was in a conversation about uh Bays popping up and wanting to take it the extra mile. And I was told uh if if somebody was telling me that that they didn't see a problem with this. If the, the young lady pops up at your job after the first date, she want to give you a gift or something of that nature. How you go? We're going to start with Scorp. Y'all have one date. You go on your job. You step out the building on your lunch break. And she's standing out there with a box of candy. What's your comment to her? First and foremost, I'm like, what the? Oh Lord! First and foremost, I'm saying, what the hell are you doing here, my job? That's the number one question gonna come out of my mind. You second this thing could be love? Is, the second thing is, um, you know what I'm saying? This could have waited till later on during the day. You know what I'm saying? That that's a violation. You come to your workplace, and you know what I'm saying, just to get some gifts. You know, even though if you ain't got no key. You know, even though the first day here, you shouldn't even have a key on the first day. Thanks. So you don't have to, you know what I'm saying, wait till <laughs> I'm available. Because if I'm at work, that means I'm not available. You just have, I'm going to have to just hit you up on breaks or whenever. You know what I'm saying? That's not, that's a no-go for me. Uh, Lenopoli, how do you feel about this? Um, if the person just popped up at the job. Yeah, I think I know what you're going to say, but I want to hear it. After one date, they just popped up at the job? Yeah, because they love you so bad. They love entangling with you. <laughs> First of all, we didn't entangle yet, but I mean, like, what What are they doing? They just brought me something? They brought you a chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A. Oh, well, then I'm going to just eat the chicken sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to find this a lot. You see, you a hungry young lady. <laughs> You know food motivates me. What are you talking about? Wow. Oh, my gosh. You, look, y'all got to, we got to quit falling for this out here in these streets. Because we be thinking people sweet because they be doing it. I'm going to think you up to no good. I don't care if you, I know I am going to eat the chicken sandwich. I ain't going to lie. Hope it's spicy. And with some waffle fries and some Chick-fil-A sauce. I'm going to accept the sandwich. I'm going to accept you talking to me at that moment. And we're going to have a little conversation at that moment. Now, when you leave, I'm going to proceed to no longer text you or no longer call you. Come and say, this motherfucker crazy already. And that's going to be the last time. The last time you saw me was you was handing me a spicy chicken sandwich. Uh, I mean, why is this suspicious? Uh, why is so many reasons? If you popping up, I know you, you want to see, am I working naked? Am I a stripper? Do I do what I say I do? <laughs> And you want to pull up and find yourself. You don't got what? shit to do with no Chick-fil-A. You don't got shit to do with, I wonder, was you hungry? People be having a motive. And you, if you come up there with a spicy chicken sandwich, you're going to have a spicy ass. 
because it's gonna be our last conversation. That's insane because that's not even see you missing out. You missing out on the sandwiches to come because you over here. Wow. <laughs> being paranoid, but hey. But you know what? You you actually uh speaking of sandwiches to come. This this is right up your alley, a conversation that I feel we've been needing to have. Now, it's a lot of uh I seen a documentary today and I hope Scorp don't bow his head when he hear about me watching documentaries. Oh, but he get, oh. he gets my mind tingling and I got to thinking about uh it was about these people that scam the cat you know, they play like they're cat they play like they're somebody else, they catfishing. Uh-huh. And the whole time all they asking is for uh a payment. They want to know, can you send me $2,000? Can you send me $1,000? Can you send me $100? Most of the time, the, the people be doing it. So I want to know this. And uh, I'm going to do like the teacher looking at the back of the class. I see Scorp playing on his video game. So I'm looking, <laughs> I'm looking in the back of the class. Now, if, uh, if, if the person is scamming or who is wrong in this case, is the the scammer and you can't say both is the scammer wrong or the the dumbass for keep giving the money out because people say the scammer you know you're wrong for that for taking advantage of people so many people being out the hospital and et cetera and they they wife died and and so many people you know you just got to tell them they're an idiot who wrong here school <laughs> he said you got to tell them he's an idiot um in this case scenario, you say we can't say both. I'm gonna I'm gonna say the scammer wrong. Tell us why. Simply because you know what I'm saying. If you constantly, and constantly doing like scamming people, you know what I'm saying, like after they money or what or whatnot or whatever you doing, you know is is you think it's benefiting you now, but in the long run, it's gonna catch up to you. <laughs> You know, by any means necessary, but um, yeah, because a lot of some of then you got some scammers out here. You know, what I'm saying they ain't never got caught before. It's a fact. So they they on they on the wing in the prayer right now. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> but me, I've never been no scammer. I ain't never scammed nobody out of nothing. You know, I know some scammers in my life. I know plenty of scammers. Well, a wise man once said, panda, 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 credit card and a scammer. <laughs> <laughs> and that speaks for itself. I'm going yeah. to say uh, the idiot is the wrong here. And I, I used to do say the scammer was wrong because they are wrong, of course. But, you know, and the people, you know, on the thing I seen, they said a the man had an oxygen machine. He couldn't breathe. I think oh, his wow. wife died. He was all alone. He had one patch of hair. He was like Tommy from Rugrats. And everything this is like not it. funny. It's not funny. But no, this... by the way, I just want to say because I'm in here giggling. It's not funny. It's just between 500 <laughs> and your tone of voice. Things get, you know. But go ahead. If I tell something, just mute your microphone so people don't look at you some kind of way. <laughs> no, but <laughs> but uh, what I feel like with it though, it's kind of like I be getting so mad when I be hearing this stuff. Just like the dude, you know, we ain't going to get into that from 90 Day Fiance with the girl in Ukraine. He hired an investigator and they told him what was going on. Everybody else told him what was going on. They do not want to hear it. They want to keep sending money and want to keep on doing it. So I'm at the point now, if I have a friend doing this, I am going to be a friend and say this motherfucker using you. I might say this twice. If next time, you know, we stop at Western Union, I'm going to silently sit there and play on my phone. Until you finish. And I ain't going to say shit. I'm going to say I'm through fucking with this situation. Sometimes you got to do like the Pontius Pilots and wash your hands. Lenopoly. Talk to us. Maybe you can speak some sense into us. <clears throat> I mean, I agree with both of y'all. Like, the fact that the scammer, morally, the scammer's wrong. Like, end of the day, they're wrong. Like, they're going to get their karma it's wrong i'm sure in god's eyes and all that stuff but i mean the person getting scammed it'd be so obvious like a lot of the times it's so obvious like i remember you've told me about times where you've gotten those friend requests 
where the girl is like half naked and it looks like the person is like impossibly real and it's just like I mean impossibly fake or whatever but like you just know like you just know you were like I'm not gonna add this person because it doesn't even seem real like they're just gonna scam me like if they're real or not they're here for the scam they're not here to say hey I really want to get to know you thanks you know and also too it's just like uh um I think that if the scammer is spending time talking to you, making you feel better and stuff like that, they should be getting paid for it. They like, should what? Hold on. They should be getting they should be getting paid for it. <laughs> you don't it? think so? Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh-uh. The Vivas Prostitute I, I, Service is coming soon. I, I get but, those. I st- <laughs> by talking to you, it's not no prostitution, <clears throat> it's just talking. That's phase right. one of prostitution. I get I get those friend requests all the time, and I I know it's it's like you can like you said you can tell it's fake, you know, <laughs> just by looking at the profile picture or something, you know what I'm saying? Cause half of them only got one post on there, and, and you know you automatically know it's a setup, it's a scam. First off, shout out we didn't acknowledge shout out to Lenopolis picture too, she is in a building. We'll continue school. Oh, Lord. But yeah, yeah, I had I had one of those the other day. What? Oh, one of the people trying to uh, add you uh-huh, uh-huh, on Instagram. Did you get your debit card out? No, I hit the delete button. Yeah, they be throwing you in them group chats and <clears throat> when yeah. you're going. I'm gonna tell you another thing they be doing on Instagram. You be thinking you popping because they be watching your story. You go in there, you be like, oh man, hundreds of people watching my story. It's a lot of people watching my story. Then you go in there, then they name be. Big Becky wanna fuck, wild fucking asshole, <laughs> booty hole wide open, underscore. Uh-uh. And then you be like, hold on. Then you click their profile and it say, click here, get ready for a wild fucking time. I'm like, oh shit. Ain't nobody looking at this. We need the real listeners. Y'all gotta show up because we don't want big wild Becky with the wide booty hole watching the <laughs> <laughs> Why would you click on the page? Like already the name's there. You have to see all these <clears throat> real listeners. And when you go in there and say, why booty hole lady? That's a little spooky. Mm-hmm. I'm like, is people really using these names out here? <laughs> why booty hole lady? <laughs> wow. I'm so done. <laughs> so you so telling me, so based off Lenopolis theory, these people deserve to get paid for their time is what I'm hearing. They're getting paid. Y'all no agree? They're getting paid no attention by Scrub Hunter. <laughs> <clears throat> they well, need to get paid. Like, this is, it's basically like OnlyFans, but chat version. Uh-uh. That's what it is. Actually, I've been, I, I saw, I followed the OnlyFans on Instagram, the actual OnlyFans, like the company. And when I went there on the page, it had like people doing concerts and stuff like that. It's really, I thought OnlyFans was only naked life. That's all I thought it was. But it's basically anything that you want to do to charge somebody. So you went on there to see naked life? No. <laughs> Listen to me. You went on to their page because you're like, this is where the naked folks are. I'm going there. And then you're like, oh, it ain't no naked people here. I knew this was going to fly over people here. When I went on there... <laughs> I learned something. We need to be on OnlyFans, all of us, actually. Because you can go on there and charge people. Maybe I could be singing on there. Maybe Scorp can be doing that magic mic move that he did in the Velvet Vibes group. Really? He can slide across the flow. <laughs> Lenopoly, you can, you know, be eating chicken sandwiches, spicy chicken sandwiches. You're just trying to get big booty bigger with the wide booty hole on your... No, nope. exactly. He <laughs> hoping that she gonna show up and say I'm real. <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all something. Every time that was like I, a real life. <laughs> every time I see wide booty hoes, it make me nervous. <laughs> and tell the truth, Scorp, when you be watching a porn and you see not the actual porn, but you just see that little picture, and it have a woman, her booty hole be the shape of a like a cheeseburger. Do you click that or do you move on? I'd be strolling for it. It'd take me five to ten minutes to find something I want to watch anyway. So I'd just be strolling and watching previews. 
But if you see the cheeseburger. We on a whole nother time. <laughs> no. Why does it take so long though? Like, why does it take so long? You gotta, to you gotta, one? you gotta find a good one. You know, some of them be trash. And you're a fan of now, the rerun. And then now, and then now, you can just scroll and just watch the little previews of it or how it's gonna be now. <laughs> That's what I be doing. Hey, you ever watched a rerun though, score? Like it'd be one you've seen before, but you're like, well, this one always gets the job done. So you just yep. watch it again. Yep. Lenopoly, have you done this? I got plenty on my list now. What? You have them saved? No, I ain't got them saved. I was like, what? You have a wrote on pencil and paper. How to search it back up. I got it down in my palm palette. <laughs> 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 no, I done seen a few that I just see it and I'm like, okay. I'm going to just watch this one again. But I only do that if I be doing what y'all talking about. If I'm wasting five, ten minutes looking, next thing you know, I got a gummy worm. I'm out the mood. I'm like, cool, I'm going to just watch this one. This one always get the job done. But bet we don't. We always get nasty on here. We're going to quit getting nasty. Wait, I got one more question. Uh Uh-oh, bring us there. Do you be, like, searching for one and you haven't found a good one, but then you know, like... Cause you know you you don't live alone, so it's just like you know someone's gonna come home. So you're like, I gotta hurry up and just pick one. <laughs> so eventually you just settle for one. You're like this one. No, cause you're like they're gonna be home in five minutes. Uh uh-uh. uh, I still be <laughs> strolling when she walked through the door. <laughs> what? And she asked me what's it doing. I said, find find me a movie to watch. <laughs> you act like you're gonna pop some popcorn in this cell. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I look. I have been there before when you just got to hurry up and settle for one. But the settle ones, to me, when I settle for one, it made me just turn it off. Like, you be settling for it. You be looking at it. It be horrible. It be the worst stuff ever. Then, whatever you're looking at, they be trying to, you know, keep. It's like when you click on one thing, it opened up a whole wormhole of that. Is You know, like me. I'm going to just say this. I don't like watching the anal porn. And when I find one and it just say, it say, wild woman goes crazy, dot, dot, dot. I don't understand what that dot, dot, dot. Then I click it in the ass. And I'm like, oh, shit. Then the whole timeline be in the ass. Then I'm like, no, I don't want to see it. And I got 15 in the ass movies. I got to go back to get wild was it. So I don't want to just settle for nothing. We want to stay in the genres that you enjoy. Uh-uh. I have a theory, though. Go for it. I have a theory now. This is why all these parents are trying to get their kids to go back to school. Because can't nobody watch no porn in the house? Because <laughs> they're just there, you know? You tell them to shut up and tell them to go ride their bicycles. You can't, uh-huh. you can't do that and then come back out and then... No, you can't be regular after that. Look, you, if you know how to do it real quick, I don't watch porn at Mama House. I don't watch porn at when I'm visiting people's house, I don't watch what? it at Scorp house. <laughs> you just say, where your bathroom? And just play like, spray some air freshener like you're doing something else. And then just, you know, as us men, if you put some Elmer's glue on the floor, just wipe it up. What? <laughs> okay, Why would next. you do that at a house? Like, okay, yeah, next question. Next time, next, next time. Yeah. <laughs> this is insane. Next time. Next time. Check your shoe score. You might be somebody. Like... <laughs> All right, he go upstairs and use the bathroom. So he don't use my bathroom. <laughs> oh, my God. No. <laughs> now, Lenopoly, I know you had something for us that you wanted to share with us. We want to, we, our ears are open right now. Oh, no, I'll wait till the end. Oh, the end is around the bend. But I'm going to ask, okay, I'm going to ask this one more question. Then we're going to, well, as they say, uh, pass the microphone to Lenopoly. Now, we need to talk about this. Yeah, I had another topic, but we need to talk about this. And last, we didn't skip it last time, and now it's getting worse, entanglements. The song that came out, Entanglements, I don't have it. to talk about it. It just came out I just, today. I just heard 30 seconds of it and I cut it off. <laughs> Are I you for I, this song or against this song? I, I need to hear the rest of it first. <laughs> Are you? I, I thought it was, I, when I first seen it on social media, I thought it was a rumor. 
Exactly. And then, and then I looked and I went straight to Spotify and, and it was on there. I said, this thing got even, like you said, it got even worse. So I started playing it. And then it was like, I played like 30 seconds and I said, nope, I can't do this no more. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. They mm-hmm. they just taking this word now. I mean, everybody. I ain't even gonna lie. I've been using it too. We just taking this word and running. We that's the new word for twenty twenty now. Entanglement. Don't don't. I want to know why Rick Ross was on the song. <laughs> that, that, yeah. Being messy. Like, he always is somebody's business. It's like Birdman and Little Wayne. Now this entanglement. It's like, can you just focus on? Why Wale left, or why Wale is still there, or whatever's going on, like focus on you. And what happens to that Ace dude? Like, uh, he, went in, <laughs> he went independent. <laughs> exactly. Well, then you need to be worried about that not entanglements. Look, Rick Ross trying to get in some messy shit. No. Was you ready <laughs> to be? Would you, was you ready to be Rick Ross or Fifty Cent? <laughs> yeah, oh, Fifty wild. Cent. He going wild too. But this is what 50 Cent does, so it's cool. Yeah, they saying that they wish 50 would have been on the song, though. Yeah, that would have been better. Because <laughs> they said that's his light lane. But uh, now check this out. I'm, I'm going to say I'm for this song. Everybody saying they against it. Only reason I'm for it, because August Alcina needed this. He been, he been riding low-key for a long time. Ain't nobody heard shit from him. He done faded into the darkness. But now August Alcina, you know, he had to use some of his... Uh, now, I ain't for kissing and telling, but now that he done told it, and now that Jada went and used the phrase entanglements, and he went and got a pencil and a sheet of paper, and he said, fuck it, I'm going to write an entanglement song. We need to get the entanglement T-shirt out because you know somebody going to beat us to it. So we need to get them entanglement t-shirts ready because you got to take the moment and run with it. Look at Cash Me Outside. She said Cash Me Outside, then the memes came out, now she a famous rapper. You got to take your moment. Rick Ross already had his moment. I don't know why he here. I do agree with Lenopoly there. He just being messy. You know when when you be like, I'm going to ask my, tell my cousin, don't bring your friend and your homeboy and your cousin. Just handle your own business. But August Alcina, Good job taking care of the moment. <laughs> what was that? Just that pity pet for them pity clips. Oh my gosh. Do you have anything else on this entanglement, Lenopoly? I want to hear what you had to tell us. No, I don't have nothing. Like, I, I think it's that's that's their business. I don't know why they even spoke on it anyway. I'm like, if you don't speak on it, speak on the whole thing. Speak on um, what Will Smith is doing too. Like, don't tell a half a piece of a story. They sat down for like ten minutes and they talk about entanglement. Like, she that's all we got. The women. <laughs> she trying to defend the women now. No, they both trash. Like Jada Pink is set up on here on this red table talk. Made this crossed. whole show. Pretty much made this whole show, giving people advice on marriage and all this other stuff. Sat here with her daughter and her mom. And it's like, your marriage is not perfect either. And it's like, you could have been admitted that and it could have been cool. But anyway, I don't know. August Alcina, he's trash too. With all his mental stuff, I'm going to still say he's trash. So like, are it's you, all trash. Are you against kissing and telling? Yeah, pretty much. Especially when you, when you actively participated and like seeped it out. Like... <clears throat> You know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. different if it was like, I don't know, I can't explain it, but <laughs> he he wanted to talk to Jada. Like, I think that if anybody, if Jada Pinkett tried to talk to me, I probably would talk to her. Like, it's just insane. Hold on just a second here. Uh, Jada, <laughs> if you want to come and tangle with us, uh, you can reach us at 100%velvet at gmail.com. It's going to be you know, an entanglement house. I just mean, like, it's crazy that it's like we're saying he's like a victim and I know he had a bunch of mental stuff and his mental health and a lot of stuff going on but I mean he also took advantage of her too like 
she had a moment of weakness, as she says, and it's just like her marriage was failing. She was getting old. This young dude with a big uh, penis, like he was so, trying to talk to her. So it's like, why wouldn't you talk to him? So just because it's a light skinned man with curly hair, he got a big penis. <laughs> there was pictures. Yeah, I don't know if y'all saw the pictures. But no, pictures. I don't want to see the pictures. <clears throat> oh, I can send y'all the pictures next no, episode. Oh, whoa, have them as whoa. The no. You tell them your email where they could contact you for this. No, I don't want to see the pictures. But I don't know. I mean, that's my opinion. It's just all wild. So. <laughs> it's a, it is a wild situation. I hope it do give August a boost in his career. I just hope he don't get entangled in another situation which i think he probably will and then he might have a reputation of being messy at that point and i can't protect him no more at this point but uh, then he was trying to talk to kiki palmer and got mad at her for telling everybody that he was trying to talk to her so you just told everybody jada pinkett was they knew like this is crazy look when we it's just it's when we go to the three-point line and we take that shot and we miss we like to keep that private when it be nothing but net, then you can tell people. That's insane. <laughs> anyway, who are y'all going for in the versus battle? DMX or Snoop? It's a healthy conversation. <laughs> I'm saying DMX. I'm going to just say. I would like to see DMX win, but I think Snoop going to take it. Yeah, I think Snoop got it hands down. Okay. Oh, Mark my word. What day is it on the 22nd or yep, the 22nd? The 22nd. It is Wednesday. So oh, okay. How how bad do you think Snoop going to take DMX? They doing 20 songs. How far are you? I know we don't that, got time that, to break it all the way down. That's going to be the rough part right there. He got more than 20. Oh, my God. Not t- more than 20 good ones. DMX, when you hear DMX, like, that's it. Like, oh, I- Look, shout out to my guy B. Smitty. He did say this, that uh, Snoop is the most overrated rapper of all time. I do agree with that because he he made a lot of, like, real good hits in his early, early career, and he had some in his later time. But Snoop got a lot of trash, but I think it's just because he, like, pretty much already had a legend status by the time he started making trash that nobody says nothing. Or maybe because he just cool like that. Or whatever, but nobody like when he be making trash, don't nobody say a word because he gave us gin and juice and uh Snoop Dogg, yeah, dog. We got that, but ain't nobody listening to the Snoop Gospel album and etc. I, I ain't well, even heard it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he got some, but I think just based off, cause like I said, I want to see DMX take, it, especially in his current situation and etc. I just would like to see him win. But I think just if I'm thinking out of other people's head, I think Snoop gonna take it because they gonna, you know how people is about nostalgia. Uh, but like we always say, we're here on Zoom, and we gotta wrap this thing up. Anybody got any uh, messages, any announcements, church announcements, things people need to know? I got, I got one. Oh. Fifty cent they stop being scared and go and accept that battle with T.I. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> that here, battle is so unfair. And why he out here beefing with everybody? Trying to start <laughs> beefing and throwing cheers and shit at every damn battle. Oh yeah, we gonna so we gonna speak about that on the new. <laughs> uh, the score puncho has spoken. Lenopoly, do you have anything positive to share with anybody? Um, I don't know if it's positive, but I wanted to do this new segment. If this is the time to do that, uh, we're gonna move that to next time due to our one. No, minute. we got one minute. I'll be cl- one minute. Yeah, they finna cut us off in one minute. Uh, okay. Uh, with that said, it's always good to come here. Velvet vibes, like we always say. Uh, shout out to your daddy and a shout out to your mama. <laughs>